One of Disney Dreamlight Valley's most abundant resources is wood. Currently, there are four types of wood in the valley, softwood, hardwood, drywood, and the rarest of all, dark wood. Wood is used for a wide variety of crafting. Everything from furniture to fences can require tremendous amounts of wood. While softwood and hardwood are available fairly early on in the game, drywood and darkwood are only obtainable in the mid to late game, making them a fair bit harder to gather. As far as demand goes, darkwood seems to be the most sought after and with good reason. The absolute best storage chest in the game requires players to pay out 25 pieces of darkwood per chest. And unfortunately, to optimize our storage rooms, a fair amount of these chests will be necessary. Darkwood is also necessary for one of the valley's best fences known as the Darkwood Fence with every single fence post requiring a total of five darkwood. It doesn't help matters that darkwood is only obtainable in one biome, the Forgotten Lands. To make matters worse, the Forgotten Lands is typically the last of the biomes unlocked by players, meaning by the time players have access to darkwood, they've likely already gathered a fair amount of the other various wood types, leaving them actively seeking only one type of wood. Hey there gamers, I'm Probably Senpai, and today we'll be discussing the most efficient and simplified method for gathering darkwood. Before we dive into today's video, I'd like to mention that I'm a small full-time content creator, so dropping a like on this video can help me tremendously. I also stream Disney Dreamlight Valley Monday through Saturday on my Twitch channel, so if you have any follow-up questions for me or a request for future videos, please feel free to come by the stream and let me know. Consider subscribing for more Disney Dreamlight Valley and gaming content, and with that, Let's dive in. One of the many things that can make gathering dark wood difficult is actually its color. You see, the Forgotten Lands is the darkest of all eight biomes, and even the grass is a deep shade of purple. Hunting for dark wood in the Forgotten Lands can be tricky and time consuming. So today, we'll be discussing ways to maximize the gathering of this rather demanding resource. This method will focus on two angles, the development of a dark wood farm and the knowledge and statistics surrounding spawn times of wood in all biomes, as well as the necessary amount of trees needed to obtain the maximum amount. First off, let's get started with constructing a dark wood farm. You'll want to begin by removing all the trees from the Forgotten Lands biome. Now I know this can have a negative impact on the chosen decor, but it's a necessary sacrifice to accumulate dark wood quickly and efficiently. If you want to keep your trees as decor, you could always Always consider just a temporary removal. Keep in mind you can always remove the dark wood farm and replace your desired trees upon stockpiling what you feel is a fair amount of dark wood. Either way, having your trees scattered throughout the biome will make collecting dark wood way more difficult and time consuming, potentially resulting in lower amounts of the discovery and collection. So for now, I recommend removing all trees from the biome before we begin. Now that we've removed the trees, it's time to create our wood farm. Personally, I like to place a lighter pathing such as gravel or brick as the foundation. A simple 6x20 foundation should do nicely. I recommend placing pathing in the wood farms for a few reasons. First off, this will prevent undesirable spawns such as ginger, flowers, or dig spots from spawning where you're trying to gather wood. The pathing also allows you to easily spot each piece of dark wood without them blending into their surroundings. If you don't like the way it looks, just remember, it's only temporary. Once you have an abundance of dark wood, the wood farm will no longer be necessary. For now, sacrifices must be made for that sweet, sweet dark wood. Once you've laid your foundation, it's time to place your trees. Personally, I prefer to use the plaza tree, as it's one of the few trees that can be placed atop pathing. The plaza tree also does not require much room. It's important to note that the tree you choose has absolutely no effect on what kind of wood is dropped. Only the biome can impact that. With that said, some trees in the game do not drop wood at all. If you're unsure about a particular tree, you can find out if it drops wood on the Disney Dreamlight Wiki page. I'll leave a link in the video description down below. So try to keep that in mind when selecting your trees. Before we go much further, let's discuss a little bit about wood spawning. Every biome spawns the same amount of wood, though they all spawn various types. 20 pieces of wood will spawn into any biome in about an hour's time, with the exception of Dazzle Beach, which is the only biome that does not produce wood. The amount of time required for a piece of wood to spawn is not set, meaning you're not guaranteed to see two wood every five minutes, 
but typically all 20 pieces will spawn into a biome in under an hour. In order to receive all 20 pieces of wood, the biome must have at least four trees. Personally, I use five trees for my dark wood farm. I'll admit this doesn't actually make the wood spawn any faster, though it does prevent certain trees from getting a bit too cluttered so I prefer to stick with five myself. Feel free to use four trees if you'd like. Just make sure you can fit at least two stick bundles in between each tree. This will help to prevent the wood spawns from being pushed outside of your farm and blending in with the darker surroundings. Lastly, I highly recommend placing your wishing well in close proximity to your dark wood farm. There's a few reasons for this, and we'll get into that a bit more later. Once your dark wood farm is complete, it's simply a matter of timing. I recommend making visits to your dark wood farm a priority every time you log on. Clear and collect the wood immediately upon logging in and then set a timer for one hour. You can use your phone, your Alexa app, whatever you want. But if you're not returning to the dark wood farm every hour or so, you'll be missing out on valuable dark wood. If you return on the hour, you should always see 12 dry wood and eight dark wood. Now, with that said, in the past, my dark wood drops seemed to fluctuate often. Sometimes I would find only five dark wood and 15 dry wood. Other times I would find seven dark wood and 13 dry wood. Though ever since around update three, I've been collecting eight dark wood on every complete harvest. I looked through the patch notes to try and find information on this, but to my surprise, I found nothing. So I'm not sure if the fluctuating dark wood drops in the past were intentional or just a bug. Either way, I'm very happy to be getting a consistent eight dark wood on every harvest. Even if you show up to your wood farm and collect all eight dark wood, eight more dark wood will soon take its place. However, there does seem to be a catch here. I found that it took nearly the same amount of time for the eight dark wood to respawn as it took for all 20 dark and dry wood to respawn. So if you're thinking just picking up the dark wood alone will increase your yield, think again. The wood will always be dropping at a rate of 40% dark wood and 60% dry wood. This ratio should not change. When it comes to collecting your wood, it's important to note that time moves forward in Disney Dreamlight Valley even when we're not playing. So if you have limited play time due to chores, household duties, work, or school, you can always simply log on, grab your dark wood, and then save and quit. As long as it's been at least 45 minutes to an hour, you'll still get a copious amount of dark wood. If you took my advice about placing a wishing well next to your wood farm, you can log into Dreamlight Valley, fast travel to your farm, pick up your wood drops, save and quit all in under one minute. Simply logging on for one minute every hour for five hours will net you an impressive 40 dark wood, and that's with only five actual minutes of gameplay. What you do with the time in between is up to you. Make dinner, do your homework, pet your cat, or play more Dreamlight Valley. Whatever you want, really. The most important mechanic is collecting the dark wood often to reset the spawning system. Once a wood farm hits the capacity of 20 wood drops, there will be no further production of wood, no matter how long you wait. So resetting the wood farm often is the key to stacking serious amounts of this highly sought after wood. Follow this method for just a few weeks and you'll have more dark wood than you can shake a stick at. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I apologize. Keep in mind, wood farms can be created in any biome and the type of wood depends on the biome. The plaza and the meadow both produce softwood. The Glade of Trust and the Forest of Valor produce a mix of softwood and hardwood. Frosted Heights and the Sunlit Plateau produce a mix of hardwood and drywood. And as discussed in this video, Forgotten Lands produces drywood and darkwood. If you're running low on other wood types, consider constructing a wood farm in additional biomes and be sure to check on them hourly whenever you can. I sincerely hope you found today's video insightful and helpful. There are a lot of new players entering the world of Dreamlight Valley and I know how difficult the grind for darkwood can be. If you did enjoy today's video, be sure to let the YouTube algorithm know by pressing that like button and consider subscribing for more Disney Dreamlight Valley and gaming content. As always, thank you so much for your time today and good luck decorating your valley.